Hello everyone, Tracy Palo here, coming at my from my home to you. Hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, I'm excited about this topic that we're going to cover in this training episode, which is all about tips and ideas on Facebook posts or any posts, really, depending on what social platform you use, on how you can improve your engagement. So are you guys excited? We're going to do some screen sharing here. Um, and so just kind of bear with me. Um, and I see many of you guys plugging on. Uh, in fact, I want to make sure that I am training in the right group. I think I am. Yes. I see some of you guys on. I'm just going to double check if that's okay, guys, because I want to know that I'm in the right group with you. I believe I am. I believe, I believe, I believe I am. Oh, yeah, we are. We are, people. So, not going to just uh, talk a lot at reading your comments. I'll get to those. I like to kind of get to those afterwards. But what I'd like to do is cover these engagement tips uh, regarding your post that you do. And then at the end, if it's okay with you, I want to open it up for Q&A. So right now, let's screen share so that you can see a basic presentation that I'm going to go through. Are you there? Yes. Pumped about this month. So excited about get, getting things done. But you know what it's like in this business. It's fast and changing. And unless you're keeping up with how fast it's changing, you'll be left behind. So here you have it. I'm kind of a learning junkie and I make a lot of mistakes. Uh, I'm sure many of you do too. But tonight, Today, wherever you're plugging in from, we're going to cover some, again, Facebook tips for posting so that you can improve your engagement. So let's get right on into it. Woo! So here we are, Facebook posting tips. And uh, y'all know me. If you don't, hello, throw me a shout out my way. Let me know that you guys are here with me. You know it's my favorite to share content with you. So let's go into tip number one. Share other people's content, not all the time, okay? So for example, my mother, this is how she uses Facebook. She loves to constantly share recipes. Can anybody relate out there? Do you, do you have people in your life that do the same thing? that um, they constantly share. So you don't want to do that because then Facebook recognizes that you're not letting your audience get to know who you are, okay? Because remember what Facebook is about, it's about being social and uh, building relationships, okay, online. So when you share others' content, what do I mean by that? So say uh, you love um, learning, video marketing. I'm just going to throw that out there. And maybe you read a really good article on or a good blog post on video marketing or YouTube video marketing, whatever it is, when you find content that you like, you can share it. So that's one thing that you can do that because Facebook likes that people's content that you're sharing. So maybe you've got a favorite self-development guy John Maxwell, maybe you see something that he posted that you love the content, go ahead and share it because they like that and Facebook likes that. Just don't do a lot of it, okay? Because we need to get to know you as well. Number, oops, did I go too fast? No, I did not. Let's go to the next one. Here's another Facebook posting tip. Do you sometimes struggle finding trending uh, content, content that people would engage with? Here's an idea. Why don't you write these down? Here's just a few places that you can go to and you can search 
what topics are trending? So I didn't put the one on here that I use. So let me just uh, let you know. Oh, goodness. What is it? It's called Kudani. K-U-D-A-N-I. Yes, Kudani. I love, love, love it. It's called KudaniCloud.com. Go check it out. Watch the uh, learning videos of how to get started. So when you go to that or any of these platforms that you're looking at right now, they're all fairly the same. It's you finding one that feels like it's a good fit. But basically what these will allow you to do is to create content based on topics that are trending. So if you were in my Kudani Cloud account, you can uh, create categories or files. And I created files like network marketing, um, social media marketing, um, let's see, Facebook Live, I think I put as one, um, self-development, mindset, motivation. Another file is just quotes, okay? So you create these files. Here's the cool thing, you guys, is it helps you locate content. It helps you uh, search topics that you think might be trending topics, and there's a search box that you can type in the term that you want more content on. And then this the software will spit back many, many articles. So for the platform that I used, uh, you can search all platforms, meaning the web, news, video, uh, I think those are the three. Oh, and photos. So you can search all, or if you just want to search videos on motivation, you can do that. And what will happen is as soon as you click search, it'll populate so much content. Now, some of them are uh, programmed for within the last 24 hours. I say, why not go out to like 90 days, search it all on the, you know, the cloud so that I can pick and choose what content that I want to train on, what content that I want to learn on. Um, and I might take my take the information that I learned from a particular mindset topic um, and re repost it. This is how it works. So I created one, which I've not posted yet, on work smart. Okay, not hard. And the whole article uh, that I created was a combination of probably 10 things I read, but it was really fascinating to, to learn that many of us entrepreneurs think that working 80, 90 hours a week is, considers us successful, but in fact, all the studies out there say, uh-uh. So I kind of collaborated and collected all of this information, okay? And then I created, when I create a, a, a post, there's a drop-down menu that says, where do you want to share this content that you're creating? So you, it'll, a drop-down will will drop and all these will be the same and and if you connected your facebook um it'll have you, you you can share it to your facebook business page you can share it to instagram you can share it to youtube you can share it to your website you can share it to your blog hello is that not amazing you can also go out of any of these platforms because you want to start thinking about your brand all right. Um, and you can go out of these search platforms and create photo assets. I use Canva, C A N V A dot com. So I've got colors, I've got fonts that I like to stick to. And I kind of like to choose the artwork, if you know what I mean, that's going to go into maybe a blog post or the artwork I want to create a photo that's going to go on Facebook, right? 
So then it will, uh, when you get done with your creating your content, then you can push a button and schedule it. You can uh, push a button to post it immediately. It's a very, very cool thing. What I love the most about it, probably my favorite thing I love about these, um, these uh, content helpers, if you will, is they have, most of them have keyword searches. So for like what your title, what the description of your post is going to be, yes. You can click keyword and you can type in what you think you want to call your post, what the description's going to say. And again, the software engine, if you will, will populate all uh, most trending popular uh, topics or descriptions. And so it's it's really good. It's really, really good for finding great content, knowing that it's trending, and then being able to, no matter where you are posting it, blog, website, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, wherever you're going to post it, it also helps you uh, create a key headline that will improve your engagement. Ah, okay, so you ready for that? The other thing that I wanted to tell you, I brought something else down, is it, let's talk a little bit about Facebook because that's what this episode's about. When you post something to Facebook, you really ought to get in the habit of finding key hashtags OK, I know I love, uh, you know, when I go to Instagram and I'm looking for certain hashtags that just populates, you know, popular hashtags. Try to stick with hashtags that are, that are um, relevant to your post. Don't just go spam your post with a bunch of um, hashtags that aren't relevant to your post. What do the hashtags do? What happens, for example, you might do a post on self-development, then I would think that you would uh, hashtag mindset, hashtag motivation, half, has, hashtag leadership, whatever it is, um, do a hashtag search to see if you're using relevant hashtags. What does that do for your post in terms of engagement? It increases it because people that are looking for mindset or um, uh, beauty or self-development, you can literally, when you're on Instagram or Facebook, you can hashtag in the search box, box hashtag uh, mindset, and you will see everybody you'll see all the people that are out there searching for that content so there's another tip if you want to improve engagement some experts who i follow i don't claim i'm an expert i don't think any of us should claim we're experts let me tell you because it's constantly changing but that's what good leaders do you guys that's what good leaders do is they they agree to be authentic they agree to be vulnerable they agree to keep or they commit to continue every day along your business journey they continue to learn every day don't get don't get don't get stuck there okay because i've done that and then by the end of the week i think geez at first i've got a headache and did i do much of income producing activities so you got to be careful you have to schedule those learning times in all right so that's enough about that let's keep going let's keep going uh how about this guys how about post a video post a video so upload it from your from wherever you have it saved, whether you have a video saved on your phone or a video saved on your desktop. What you shouldn't do is don't share from third party sources. Let me explain. So say you love YouTube you go or Vimeo and you find a video and you want to share it on Facebook. Don't do that because if you want to share it to Facebook, you have to share, copy the URL, it go, and then go po put it on your post. 
Facebook knows you're sharing a video from a third party and you're not going to get much engagement. So you want to first, there is an option. If you like YouTube videos, there's an option to download it. Download it first. Let me give you a tip about the downloader. If um, the one of the software uh, applications that I use for um, finding videos and downloading them. So I'm not sending my people somewhere else. Okay. There is a software an application. So it's an application that sits on your desktop called movie Sherlock. Let's see. S H E R L O C K movie Sherlock. Do me first a favor and before you go buying it go to YouTube who is my best friend and type in how to use movie Sherlock and just watch the generic the general video and it's really cool because you can open up that application from your desktop and 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 you can search within that app um, Let's just think, how about uh, mindset? Okay, you can type that in and every video among found on YouTube will populate. Very cool. So you can go through and decide which motivational mindset video do you want. So when you go through them, a little box opens up and plays it right there. You're not downloading any of them yet to your desktop until you find the one you want. So it's kind of a cool thing for you to kind of protect the journey of the content that you're going to share on your platforms. All right. The other reason you want to upload right from your desktop or your phone to Facebook um, to improve engagement is that it auto plays. Okay. So that's another great thing. Um, let's go to the next one. Here's another engagement tip is to post uh, how to tips. Um, so there's two ways that you can do that. Uh, people love the how to's. I mean, a very popular one is picture tutorials and video tutorials on recipes, cooking, uh, how to do it, you know, how to cook it, right? And so it's kind of fun to see video or, or photo tutorials. I didn't even think about that. So here, an example for what we would use a picture tutorial might be um, uh, anti-aging regimen. You know, so maybe you take a picture of you putting your cleanser on your face and that's one. Okay. And then step two might be your looming your face. Okay. Uh, step three, you know, so it, you have those picture tutorials, which are another way to get great engagement. Uh, and then video tutorials, that's that's a no brainer to do video tutorials. I'm not talking about Facebook Live. I'm talking about getting used to uh, creating a video from your phone. All right. And there's so many video apps that you can download that you can literally when you're done with your your tutorial video. You could do, say you want to do a video of each step. Go with me on that. So instead of doing the full video tutorial all in one, just in case you flub it up, imagine that if you if you have a video tutorial, imagine breaking it down into many, many steps. So maybe they're like, I don't know, 10 second clips or 20 second clips. So videotape them and then there's tons of video editors that you can use on your phone. You plug them all in and it allows you to edit out any part of the part you don't like. It allows you to put text uh, wherever you want on that video clip. It's really a great way to increase engagement and not just always be using Facebook Live. Um, I like doing 
uh, video content. I like it because you can brand it to be you. So if you guys go to at Tracy Palo, which is my um, my fan page, my business page, uh, you will see that I've repurposed and I've rebranded some of the training videos I do. Um, and I like that because I can create custom thumbnails. Um, I can, before reposting it, I can edit out stuff at the beginning and stuff at the end. I can even attach in an intro, a cool intro and an outro. So start thinking about those kinds of things that will help you and improve uh, more engagement on your posts. Here's another tip. Do behind the scenes. People love behind the scenes. Here's some examples of behind the scenes. How often do we do a, a Zoom call? Okay, uh, video to, to vi video um, conferencing, right? Because we're doing getting started with maybe an, a new team member. Imagine if I took my phone and I set it up right here. Do you guys see this? And I set it up. And I set it right over here so that we are filming, okay, the tutorial from my phone so that people can see how it is that I work one-on-one -on -one with new team members and how to get them started. So there's one example, behind the scenes post. What's another behind the scenes? I'm cooking in my kitchen, low fat foods. People love that. They want to see how I'm cooking for my body transformation. Another behind the scenes could be making a protein shake using our protein powder and being in my kitchen. That's considered behind the scenes. You guys have seen me in my bathroom uh, doing a demonstration of how to use the Lumi Spa. That's behind the scenes. People love coming in your home and seeing how imperfect you are. They love it. I'm telling you. One of the things I wanted to point out, it's so weird, you guys. Some of you um, love, love, love seeing me with no makeup on and a ponytail. In fact, it's kind of weird that that's why these videos of me with my ponytail on in my bathroom uh, with no makeup, uh, these videos have high, high, high engagement. And I don't know, is it is it really the blonde ponytail or is it that you guys can relate or is it maybe starting to become a little part of my brand because my brand, as you know, I'm kind of quirky, I'm silly. I can, listen to me, I can get all professional on you and dust off my pumps. I can do that all day long on a stage. And you guys have seen me do that. But people like, the more organic your content, the more engagement you will get. I don't know how better I can say that. So that's why, pay attention to your posts, pay attention to the videos that you've posted on Facebook and look at how much engagement you got on those videos. I encourage you to create like a uh, recorded webinar just using PowerPoint and, and, and they don't even see your face and that becomes a video and post that and then do the same exact content but do it without the PowerPoint and do it with your cute face, you know, with a great background, you know, whatever it is, people like organic um, content. Another one, behind the scenes post. Another idea is maybe you decide that you are going to start a self-development or a book of the month club uh, Facebook Live behind the scenes with your team members, and you're just going to reach a book and you're going to ask, you know, or you're going to tell people this is the kind of 
these are the things that stood out to me. Um, what kinds of things are standing out to you? So people, again, really like the behind the scenes approach to content. And if you guys are commenting anything um, that you have done on Facebook that, it, that you've experienced surprising, surprisingly high engagement, feel free to let all of us know. We're all in this together and we're learning. Here's another tip on uh, how to create Facebook posts that um, get better engagement. Here's another one, ask questions. You don't have to always create an asset, okay, like a picture and put text on it to ask the question. You can literally go into Facebook and pick a color, right? You can go into Facebook and when it says what's on your mind and you put the cursor on there, um, you put the cursor on and down below gives you all these options of, you know, do you want a red background? Do you want a black background? Do you want hearts? So play around with different ways that you post your questions and see how you, even colors. So on those backgrounds, Play around with the different colors that you use when you're asking people questions. Now, I love asking questions as it relates to attire. So I might do a funny post holding up two pair of shoes and I'm standing in my outfit, okay? And I just do the picture. Because less, what I find, and I know that most of you agree with this, what I find is less text on uh, created assets, okay? So so if you create an asset off of a photo app and you put a bunch of text on it, um, if it's a lot of text on there, you'll get fewer engagement, okay? Less engagement. So sometimes you can take a picture of two shoes and you've got your outfit on, you know, do a funny face, post that, and then in the description you can ask. And maybe on your on your picture, two shoes, and maybe you edit like a little A and a B, okay? Um, and so then you can go in your description and say, ask your question about which shoes, really struggling here, I got a hot date tonight, don't know what shoes to wear, what do you guys think? People are like natural helpers. They love to give advice. What are some other things? I mean, I'm thinking of stuff I've done in the past. Remember when I went Facebook Live and I couldn't figure out what pillows I wanted to put on my living room couch. And so I bought all these pillows and I just did a Facebook Live and I said, I'm really needing your input on this, friends. And that got a lot of engagement. It's funny how people are. Facebook likes it. The more engagement you get, Listen, why do you want more engagement? You want more engagement because Facebook keeps it elevated on the news feed a lot longer because Facebook land finds your content relevant if there's more engagement. Uh, yes, yeah, same thing. Travel, clothes, uh, food. Um, I do that a lot in the grocery store. You know, pickle, pickle brands. That's always fun. Uh, you can ask even, you know, throw me a picture of your favorite pickle brand, right? And then in your description, you can have the thumb pointing down. And then, I, of course, I said that this or that. All right, let's keep going. Here's another tip, guys, for increase engagement posts. Fin have p Create uh, creative uh, phrases that your audience will finish. An example, if I could live anywhere, I would live blank. People love that. And they, you know what they love about it the most is they like seeing where other people are answering it. They, they, I, I do it all the time. I'll scroll and see how people answered. I want to know. What about this one? This is a fun one. When I was young, I always wanted to be a blank when I grew up. That's an, a good one. So those are those are very, very fun. Um, 
And if you have other suggestions, again, let us know some of those phrases that you have used in the past that um, have created great engagement. Funny pictures and funny videos is another tip for a post that you can do to create great engagement. You want, and, and also, like I mentioned before, by accident, you'll start seeing some of your content that you do, whether it's selfies of you or funny videos that you've created, you'll start creating a little more brand recognition. Um, start thinking about that. Um, a funny, let me see, funny video. I actually use wave.video and I decided to, um, so what I did is I put on, I can't remember which mask I put on. And some of you guys remember this video. It was hilarious. Went outside um, and took a bunch of short, short video clips. I believe I put it on a selfie stick. There was one where I was driving around the neighborhood with my white mask on. There was one that I took with my, um, my video stick. Oh, I'm not gonna, oh, I'll show you, I'll show you. Let me grab it. Um, there's all kinds of fun things. You can have somebody like standing outside and you could be running, they can videotape. But I have found, I've got to depend on myself. So I'm a mad main, Matt, uh, I am man-made videographer because I don't have time to wait for people to help me. So you can get little gadgets like, oh, what's this thing called again? Where you can put your phone on it. It's called a Smove, S-M-O-V-E. Don't go out and buy it. A lot of people that I suggested buy it, they went out and bought it and then they didn't take the time to learn how this gadget works and then they never used it. So my point is just start with what you have, your cell phone and people, get your husband out there to videotape you. Anywho, I, I took a bunch of short videos of me wearing this mask. I think I even took one of me grocery shopping quickly. Um, <laughs> with my mask on, came home, put them in again, and a movie editor there, you can either do it from your phone with some inexpensive, they're free, actually video apps. You can do it from an app. I like using wave.video. It does cost, but I just, it, it feels right for me as far as editing. And then I posted them all together and I added words and it got lots of engagement. So get, Get creative with how it is that you're posting your video content and your picture content. Let's see, what else? I'm not gonna take Dodie's topic away. Whoops, but I will tell you, in fact, I'm gonna get out of here. You guys can all connect with me right there, but let me stop sharing my screen so I can tell you there are apps. Um, where are you? There we are. Okay. So I'm putting that back in. All right. We're back. There are several apps that you can use that will get you to start creating kind of like a story of content. Okay, a story of content. You know how sometimes when you're on Facebook, certain people that you might follow and all their stuff is kind of nice. It all matches and same with face or with Instagram. Those are called storyboards or content boards. And I'm not going to tell you what they what apps I use because I, I believe Dodie and I use a lot of the same uh, content creation apps. but uh, come back next week and she's going to do a full on training on the apps that we use on how to make your Facebook or Instagram story feel like a branded story. Does that make sense? So I, I see all of you guys posting on your story because doing stories right now is like the new thing. But be a little cautious. Um, first of all, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you this tip. Okay, I'm gonna give you this tip. If you only are posting on your story 
salesy pictures or salesy videos of your toothpaste, your tanner, your Lumi. And so if you have on your 24 hour story, if you've got 10 things on there and eight of them are about selling a product, you're going to just lose your following on your story. Sorry. Um, you really don't want, I, I would say maybe two or three, but sharing content on your stories is no different guys than sharing those product content on your newsfeed. You want to do it in a way that creates curiosity. Okay. Um, but, but then also you want to create, so they're called stories because it's your story. It's your story. That's so when people click, start thinking if you're going to add it to your Instagram or your Facebook story, is it a good representation of your life story? Maybe, you know, um, a day in the life of Tracy. And maybe I do that all day and use one of many apps that helps you keep your content flowing uh, and looking alike. That makes sense. But that's all I got for you guys. I hope that this was helpful. And um, now I want to take a moment and I want to see what kind of questions you guys ask. So I'm looking right now, take a moment, ask any questions. Uh, okay, so let's show this one. We just got this comment in that says, I thought Facebook demoted shared content. It depends on where you're sharing it from. If you're sharing it from Facebook's platform, so I get, I see what you're, you're saying then it's 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 not going to demote it. If you're sharing content from third party platforms um, that Facebook does not own, then um, then it will that post will be demoted. Make sense? Um, so Facebook owns Instagram, so there's a setting that, and I don't highly recommend that if you share on Facebook that you click the auto share onto Instagram. I don't think that you should replicate those two platforms sharing always the same content on both. <laughs> I can barely keep up with this, you know, this one. So, so I hope that answered your question there. Uh, let me see what else you got for questions. Um, we go into, yeah, don't, yeah, don't go into management mode. We don't want to go into management mode at all. Uh, oh, they changed something about this. Yes, Movie Sherlock is the video downloader um, application from your desktop. Absolutely love it. So if you go to um, the app store on, um, no, 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 you don't go to the app store. You go, I believe, don't go to the app store. I just told you wrong. Don't go to the app store from your desktop. You're just going to open up a browser and you're going to type in movie Sherlock. And you did spell that right. So thank you for that. Um, and that's a fabulous tool that I use all the time for downloading video that I find to my desktop so that I can repurpose it. Why would I do that? Well, because if I find something of value, I will download it. And I, if I think it's fantastic, um, I can upload it to my YouTube. I can upload it into, into Facebook without it coming from YouTube. Then it'll get more engagement because it's coming not from a third party. Does it make sense? I'm actually posting it and Facebook's cool with that. Uh, <laughs> someone said, I love your pebbles, um, hairdo. Oh, you can see my face, right? It should have been, oh, maybe I didn't. Can you not see my, yeah, you should be able to see my face. So maybe you guys didn't see my face at the beginning because I didn't click on the right one, but oh, well, I'm just glad that you guys got the content. So my apologies, I probably needed to switch on my Be Live platform that I wanted my little face to go down in the corner. 
So next time, I mean, I didn't work this hard for my hairdo to not see, let you see my cuteness. Let's see, we learn. Yes, learn every day. Um, I'm gonna close out if I don't see, it. well, let me see. Oh, I'm going backwards. Makes sense, download first. Yes, download first. All this is so hard to follow. It gives me such a challenge. Well, okay, this is what I'm gonna tell you. Let's put this up there. I'm gonna put this up there. Whoever posted this, all of this is so hard to follow. Here, I'm gonna give you a tip. Rewatch it and take notes and don't feel like you have to know it all. Please, you will get become so overwhelmed. If you have something specifically, specific, specific that that is making you feel like um, it's hard for you to follow, please ask me right now so that I can read those questions and answer them easily for you. That's what this platform is for. Um, let's see. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I love your guys' helpful comments. Somebody said word swag is great. Love word swag. I'll just tell you some of my favorites. I'm not, I won't give it all away because she's actually going to show you. She's actually going to show you next week how to use these apps. So let's, let me tell you the ones I use. I use Canva, C-A-N-V-A. I love Canva because it's an app. And it's a desktop version. And I can, I've got all of my fonts. I've got all of my colors for my brand in there. I've got all of my lo Tracy Palo logos in there. I've got all of my uh, my professional photos in there. So when I want to create content, everything's there. And they have templates that you can use. So Word Swag is another one. Word swag. Somebody typed that. Or somebody already did. Um, pick monkey. P I C M O N K E Y. Pick monkey is also an app and a desktop version. And what I like both about Pick Monkey and Canva is in the help section, they have a whole learning center and then they have a blog attached to both of those. So I don't just make these things up. I spend time and I learn. And so you guys will like those a lot. Um, so some of these story apps that are out there right now, Canva, they have a story uh, content creation for you right within Canva. Same with PicMonkey, but what's really fun is you can create a story way before you share it on your story, your Facebook story, using apps like Unfold, U-N-F-O-L-D, and Story Art. Love them. Do me a favor, and before you go downloading them all and getting a headache, just write those things down and go watch a YouTube video. Watch a YouTube video. If you, if you don't want to download the app Word Swag, okay, because in Word Swag on your phone, they too also have a video library of the how to's. It'll walk you through exactly what I'm talking to you about. Um, but if you don't want to download the app until you know if you love, love, love it, go to YouTube and watch how to use Word Swag and watch it and see if it makes a good fit for you. Same with how to use Unfold or Spark Post or any of the video editors that you can download in the App Store. Let's see what else. Um, so I hope that that helped you guys. Oh, Pick Collage is another great one. Pick Collage, I love. There's also, there's Pick Collage, which is fun because it allows you to um, pick a template for collages. Um, um, but there's also one that you can do pictures, a, a collage that consists of pictures and a video, which is really fun. Let me see. Oh, oh, another photo app. This is probably one of my faves. It's called Over. 
O-V-E-R. I use that one a lot. Now, oh, I totally am going to overwhelm you guys. Sometimes you have to use a couple of different apps to get what you want. Okay? So many times I'll do something in Canva and I'll save it. And then I'll reopen it in another app, that photo. <laughs> That's another trick. What's that? Is it, let me just a second, I gotta find it for you before we close so I can tell you what it's called. Um, mm, mm, mm. It is called, of course, now I'm put on the spot and I can't find it. It's something collage. There's pick collage and then there is another collage that allows you to do both pictures and a video. So I can't find it. So you'll just have to figure it out. Anywho, can you not see my name? No, I'm using a third party platform. And because of the privacy issues that occurred with Facebook, whatever, however long ago, on these third party platforms, I can see your comments, you guys. Love, love, love your comments. Um, but I can't see who is commenting from the third party platform. So that's why after this, I go in and I read and then I can engage with you guys. So that's all I've got for you guys. Um, other than that, have a great evening. Hope this was helpful. Let's blow it up this month, you guys, and we will see you next week. Take care. Bye.